So one of the other things I need to do to button up the front end is put on some hand guards. You might be asking, well, why do you need hand guards? Well, I think for woods, I think hand guards are a good thing, especially if you're a, especially if you're kind of a terrible to intermediate rider like myself, I need hand guards. Uh, I need full wraparounds, to be honest with you. Otherwise, I personally would be breaking levers left and right, smashing, just ruining my controls. Obviously, you could go with a flag style. I don't know the flag style options for the flex bars I, because I really wasn't looking at them. And there's a reason why. <laughs> I wreck all the time. I abuse the hell out of these bikes, but I need full wraparounds. I like them. Well, what kind of uh, wraparounds can I use for uh, for flex? Because they're so different. They're so different than a normal handlebar. It's only about a normal handlebar from here to here, and then it's a whole hodgepodge of things going on. Well, there are a few different options. I know Tusk has an option for some adapters you can use. I think Flex does their own hand guards that you can use as well, and the, the option I went with. So just for fun, let's throw these Sykra Pro Bend CRMs on and just see, check fit a bit, see how they fit, see if they're, they fit nice, if they're, they need some tweaking here and there. I mean, a lot of the times you put hand guards on and you tweak the crap out of them to get them to fit right, and you always got one up like this, you got one down like this, and you got this wonky-eyed bike going on. We'll throw them on, see how they fit, and I'll give you, give you my thoughts, I guess. Or you can come up with your own thoughts. Totally cool too. All right, let's throw these on. So first glance, I don't know, putting these on, I'd say they went on really easy. Probably some of the easiest wraparounds I've ever done. I have fast ways on my Beta and they do not fit nearly as nice as these fit this. It's like they were made for it. These were the easiest hand guards I think I've ever put on. Man, they are, I mean, they're pretty solid. They're gonna move some. And I think that's by design. This bike vibrates. I would use Loctite on these little screws and whatnot. But all in all, I'd say fit and finish is excellent. If only this was, black. The sides are black. I love this Pro Bend. I love this little bumper on the side. It's super cool. Coming together guys. Pumped. Now, let me give you a little close up here. Man, these, these things do look good. Um, definitely this, read the directions. It actually wants you to put all this stuff together before you put these on the, on the bike. If you don't put these on first, these will not fit over top of it right. So make sure you get these side bumpers on first. But all, all in all, I would say that this looks really nice. I wish this part right here, the spacer, was metal instead of plastic. The plastic's gonna get smushed as soon as you hit something hard. But um, yeah, all in all, I say these fit really well, very well. Here's a view from the cockpit. Ooh, sucky, sucky. Look at all those parts over there I still gotta put on the bike. I like them. I am not unhappy with this purchase. Again, like I said, on my beta, I have the uh, fast ways and they do not fit nearly as nice as these do. So just a little bite-sized video. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe to this build. If you have any questions about these or concerns, let me know in the comments below. I know this is a little video, but I've been wanting to get these stupid things on.